Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're still looking at the top 100 ratings for FIFA 21, and today I want to specifically look at some price predictions for these new cards, how I think these cards are going to be priced relative to the start of FIFA 21 in that first couple day time period. A lot of you guys are going to be wondering how much of these guys be costing off the rip. I'm going to be looking at some cards from prior years, maybe some of the position changes, some of the upgrades, taking all that into account today for, you know, maybe some of the cards that are in the top like 20 to 30 range uh, of the ratings database. We're going to be looking at cards that are uh, starting with like Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, and Mbappe and going down into like the 88, 87 rated. This is probably going to be a two-part series video where we take a look at some of the lower rated cards, maybe guys on the lower stage of the top 100 and even some cards that are not in the top 100 that have just been released by specific teams that have been releasing their ratings for their players on Instagram, Twitter, or etc. in a second video. So it's probably going to be part one, but I want to focus on the big dogs in today's video because a lot of you guys might be wondering how much are these cards going to be costing off the rip in FIFA 21 as we get started. So there's a lot of things we have to talk about, right? In terms of is the market going to be inflated this year, just in general, right? There's no more squad fitness cards, no more, um, you know, some people were thinking that the, the squad fitness would really do a lot for the market. And some people were saying, yo, would no squad fitnesses actually mean there are more coins on the market because people aren't having to spend 25,000 or 30,000 coins a weekend buying squad fitnesses for their team? Honestly, no, I don't think it's going to impact the market that much. Or if anything, there might be less coins on the market because every time somebody was buying one of those chem styles, that meant that somebody else was selling that and getting those coins as well. So if you kind of think of it that way, it's just the market's probably going to be just about the same. I don't think that would have a big enough impact anyways uh, to really sway the market that much but i just wanted to kind of to say something about that because some people have been commenting and saying hey do i think that this is going to make a difference i honestly don't um at the start of the year or even throughout the year to be honest i don't think it'll make that much of a difference regardless so let's get into some of these price predictions for some of these players i'm going to start with the highest rated player in fiva 21 that is Lionel messi down from a 94 last year a lot of these cards are down like a minus one or even a minus two that could in impact their pack weight they could be more packable with that lower rating now obviously since they're also still the highest rated players in the game they're going to be very very hard to pack but it's going to be curious to see if this impacts our prices at all just because of purely uh maybe that pack weight being up a tiny tiny bit depending on especially some of these other cards that have dropped down but specifically looking at messi last year in fifa and the year before this his graph is like always the same messi starts low as a card that not a lot of people can afford in the game and then slowly ramps it up. Last year, he had a very, very large rise in price through the first about month or so of the game as we got into October and November because it was uh, discovered that Messi was a lot more usable in this FIFA, in this last FIFA, FIFA 20, than he was in FIFA 19. Ronaldo was a big FIFA 19 guy and they kind of flipped positions for FIFA 20. So Messi last year started off right around the 800,000 coin range 895 on the PlayStation day one and 869 on the Xbox day one. They both started to rise after that. And especially in the first couple of weeks, when we had weekend league re rewards come out and people were starting to make more coins off this game and, and be able to afford a, a card like this, uh, this tier, the upper echelon tier of, of, inf of high rated cards and meta cards in this game. So Messi was 900,000 coins and rose up to 1.4 million by the beginning of October. I honestly think this week or this year, not this week, I think through this first week of FIFA though, Messi's probably going to start off around the 900,000 coin range. And I wouldn't be surprised if he makes a faster and quicker rise this year up towards the 1.1 to 1.2 million coin range in the first Honestly, in the first month, I would not be surprised if he gets there quicker than he did last year, because if the meta is truly going to be the same in FIFA 21 as it was in FIFA 20, people are saying finesse shots are very good, that agility, balance, and being shifty on the ball and having good um, you know, dribbling stats, Messi fits that to a T. Finesse shots, 
good dribbling stats, good composure, uh, great finishing, of course, great vision as well. People are saying that for passing, great vision is very key this year. I expect Messi to stay expensive this year, 900K to about 1.2 mil in that first month. I'm kind of going to, for all these cards that I talk about today, I'm going to be giving you guys like a starter price range and then what I'll think they'll be in about a month's time frame as the market gains more coins, people start to buy up teams and uh, build up their ultimate team. So 900K to start for Messi, up to 1.2 in the first month for the man who almost left Barcelona and uh, ended up staying there. But Cristiano Ronaldo, 92 rated. Again, another drop in rating. And this one is very, very interesting because the past two years, his prices have been acting very differently off the start for the beginning of FIFA. This is FIFA 19, right? Ronaldo started at 2 million coins day one on both consoles. Very rare card to pack, and he actually dropped for the rest of the year. Ronaldo was at his most expensive point on day one for both consoles, basically right around 2 million coins, and he literally dropped throughout the rest of the year. Ronaldo was not very meta in FIFA 20. His team of the year card got very good towards the end of the year, but it's, an, it's a 99 rated. It's going to be good, right? Uh, honestly, if the meta is staying kind of the same, Ronaldo could see an increase in value and you could see more of a graph like FIFA 19 Ronaldo, where he rose a lot in the second part of the year. He was very OP this year, that year because of the crazy f finishes and the volleys and stuff like that, that he was really good at in game. Um, and if there are headers, if headers become a thing this year, Cristiano Ronaldo with really good heading accuracy, really good jumping. Uh, and he's already six foot two. So this could be a card this year. If heading is actually meta, this could be a card this year that actually does uh, trend kind of like FIFA 19 Ronaldo, maybe starting off around 1.5 million coins. And then honestly, from there, if he's not meta, he's probably going to stay at that price and maybe trickle downwards even kind of like FIFA 20. Or I think he'll maybe even stay around that 1.5 mil and, and rise up slightly if he is a meta card this year in FIFA Ultimate Team, but it all depends on if heading is meta for me with Cristiano Ronaldo uh, in that regard right there. Let's move on to another overpowered player in FIFA. That is Kylian Mbappe, right? A cover star plus one rating. And this is a card that has got a lot of hype over the past year because he has been very meta. A lot of people have been using him in FIFA 20. People are used to using this card, and I think that's going to make him more expensive this year with a quicker rise in price. He's going to rise faster, and I think you're going to see that kind of a similar to price graph to last year, but it's all going to happen faster, right? Last year, Mbappe first day was around 600k, which is crazy, right? And then by day three on the weekend during the web app, he was up to 1.1 mil, kind of dropped back down with supply of the full game being released, and then ended up going back up towards Black Friday, back up to 1.1 mil. I think this year, Mbappe with a 90 rated card is going to start higher and maintain that higher price. I think he's going to be somewhere around 850K on day one, and he's going to get up to that 1.2 million coin range within the first month. Again, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. The Mbappe and the Neymar or the Mbappe and Ben Yedder up front is what everybody's going to be going after again if the meta is again the same in FIFA 21 because people are used to playing with this card. They used him all year last year. They're just used to being sweaty with their with their Mbappe and their Neymar. So I think it's going to be a very popular card again, and I think that's going to increase his price on the market as well as his rating increased by one, so that could make him a slight bit more rare. Moving on to a card that actually got a downgrade. And by the way, I know we're flying through these right now, but I want to get a lot of these ideas out to you guys and talk through them. This is the first time that Neymar has been uh, 92 rated or below. This is the first time Neymar has been below 92 rated since FIFA 17, I think, was the last time he was below 92. He's been, he's been 92 rated for the past three or four years, uh, but he does get the downgrade this year to a 91 rated card. I don't think that affects his price though. Last year, he started off right around 600K like Mbappe did, only went up to about 870, kind of came back down in the 700s and then flew throughout the rest of that first month or so into October. I think this year, year just like Mbappe, Neymar starts more expensive and maintains a more expensive price during that, that first month. I think you're gonna see Neymar at 700,000 coins first day. And I think throughout the, the course of that first month, he is going to get up to a million coins and possibly even over a million coins because people know how meta that five-star five-star is for Neymar, the links to Mbappe, the Brazilian links as well. 
I think this card is going to start at around 700k and be up to a mil within the first month very very easily let's head to the premier league for our first premier league card we're going to cover and that is kevin de bruyne player of the year last year in the prem a little bit of an upgrade not much just a little bit what is this guy going to be rated or not rated but what is this guy going to be costing in fifa 20 well let's take a look at last year right let's take a look at last year's graph for Kevin De Bruyne. He started off at 215K. And honestly, when I saw this, I was very amazed. I was very amazed that he was that cheap to start off the year last year, but he did end up rising. He doubled in value over from the day one into a couple weeks later, October 1st, he was 432,000 coins. This is the best center attacking mid in the Premier League in terms of statistical value, in terms of what you get on the pitch, in my opinion, with that five-star weak foot, the four-star skills. Um, and of course, this year with the passing, a lot of guys were saying that vision stat is so, so, so important. Kevin De Bruyne with 94 vision on his base card. I expect this card to be more expensive this year, of course, because of um, City's accomplishments, uh, but most necessarily De Bruyne's accomplishments, the links that he will have, especially the links to the most popular right backs in the Premier League with... Um, of course, Cancelo and Kyle Walker being very pacey right backs on that right side. I think KDB is going to start off at 300K and rise up to 500,000 coins. He does have a little bit of competition this year from a new center attacking mid named Bruno Fernandez, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Again, 300K first day, 500 to 600,000 coins after that for KDB. I think he's going to be worth more this year. I think more people are going to want to use him, and I think he's going to fit this game's meta even better than he has in the past. Let's keep it in the Premier League and go to our next card. Sadio Mane, the best left wing in the Premier League, right? 90 rated, this guy just keeps getting upgraded. He gets like a plus two every single year. He's gone from 84, 86, 88, and now 90. He is the best left wing in the Prem. There's a lot of them this year, so I think that has potential to possibly weigh his price down a little bit, but I think people know now that he is the undisputed number one as last year he was an 88. He kind of had to compete with, um, you know, some other cards still in the Prem that were left wings. But now I think he's the number one left wing in the Prem. He does have to compete with Sterling. Son is a left mid again. Um, you know, there's a lot. Rashford's an 85 rated left mid. So there's going to be a, the possibility that this card actually isn't expensive, as expensive than he might be. Um, but if you're running a 4-5-1 formation, which is the most common formation to use, or linking up cards with chemistry styles, or not chemistry styles, but getting quick links for chemistry. I think a lot of people are going to use that Van Dyke, Rabo, Allison connection on the left side this year to start off the game for guys that have a big budget. And I think this guy's going to be in a lot of people's teams. Four star, four star, high medium, great stats uh, across the board. He's got really good um, agility and balance, so he's going to feel great in the ball, great stamina for running up and down the wings, uh, and you know, solid finishing as well, solid shooting. Uh, for 90 finishing for a left wing is pretty, pretty solid. I mean, this, this might be somebody that you try to play at a striker as well. And that pace, right? That pace is going to be really huge because a lot of pace has been nerfed, but some people have said that they've played the beta and guys that do have that really high level tier of pace are very, very meta. And that's a very good stat to have. So last year, Mane was actually extinct at 400,000 coins during that first week. He kind of came down with pack supply and then rose back up, but he never went higher than like 420,000 coins last year. I think that changes this year uh, as the clear cut number one, a 90 rated card. I think he's going to start off at around, you know, 300,000, 400,000 coins. And honestly, I think he's going to go upwards of 500,000 coins inside that first month on FIFA Ultimate Team. I do think that is something you will see. One more card to keep it in the Premier League. We're going to go actually down to an 87 rated here. We're going to look at Bruno Fernandez. I know a lot of you guys are curious. What is Bruno Fernandez's price going to be this year in FIFA 21? With the big time upgrade, the plus two, obviously being at Manchester United. This is a big upgrade. And let's quickly talk about Premier League center attacking mids, right? What cards do we have as Prem center attacking mids that we could compare this guy's price to? Last year, 86 Firmino was how much? 100,000 coins. He doesn't have the hype or even some of the stats that Bruno Fernandez has, okay? So he'd be more expensive than Bruno, right? Last year, Hyunmin's son was a center forward card. Okay, he's more of a striker, but he was a center forward. 
uh, and he was around 240,000 coins, upwards of 489, 500,000 coins. I'll talk about his price in a second. And then we also had that Kevin De Bruyne that we looked at in terms of he was around, you know, that 200,000 to 400,000 price range. In my opinion, I think this Bruno Fernandes is probably going to start the game, start the year at around 100K, maybe even slightly under 100,000 coins. But I think he is very quickly going to rise above that threshold and possibly reach 200,000 coins. I feel like this card is going to be very good in game with the high, high work rates, the four star, four star. He links to Wambasaka, who got a really nice upgrade, to Rashford, to Martial. The GGMU hype is real. And he's got, again, a really good vision stat, really good center attack in mid stats on a card like this. I think you'd have to smack a probably an engine chemistry style, get that pace up, get that dribbling agility and balance up, and then boost that passing to max. This card would be really, really good with an engine chem style. He's going to have a lot of hype. I'm feeling 100K first day and then 200K within that first month for Bruno Fernandez. Let's take a look at one more card inside of this ratings video we're going to stop here with hyun min sun now this one's different this actually might be a price that goes down from the prior year and let's talk about why number one reason is position change four star skills and five star weak foot still for hyun min sun and his stats are actually relatively unchanged but the big draw to this card last year was him being a center forward you can position change him move him around and especially play him at striker and I think him being a left mid is really going to take back from that value that he had last year, starting at 240, 250,000 coins, rising all the way up to almost 500K, and then going even past that as we got towards the Black Friday timeframe. I would not be surprised if this Hyun Min Sun, this Hyun Min Sun card this year starts off around 150 to 1,000 coins and then only rises up to about 250K. I think he's going to be a lot cheaper this year. He might reach 300,000 coins, but with all those other left mids in the Prem, yes, this card will be meta, but I do not think he's going to maintain his high of a price as he did last year in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So that's the video for today, boys. Honestly, we only got through a few players, but it's hard to get through a lot of players and not go for too long because there's just a lot to talk about that goes into each and every one of these cards. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. If you want another one of these, again, show the support by smashing the thumbs up and I will gladly make another price predictions video for more cards in this top 100 ratings list that you guys would be interested in. Comment with your thoughts down below and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.